Hi everyone, today I'm doing a nut milk, but I'm not using any nuts, I'm using sunflower seeds. So if you're nut allergic or have nut allergic people around you, you might be able to tolerate sunflower seeds. Um, so this is a really good tasty milk to, to incorporate into your diet. And also, if you constantly eat the same foods all the time, maybe you drink almond milk all the time, it's good to change it. Um, because if you constantly rely on the same, like, I don't know, 20, 30 types of foods, even though they're really healthy, you should really try to incorporate a wide range of good healthy foods. So, you know, it's good to change to sunflower seed milk. Sunflower contains good healthy fats. They have great amino acids in there, which are really important for kids as they grow and also for wound healing. Um, it's got vitamin E there, really good source of that. Um, also the B vitamins are excellent in sunflower seeds. Also a good source of folate, of zinc, of iron, selenium, magnesium. So it's a nice little seed. I'm going to use my Nutribullet. And another thing that could be really handy to have is a nut milk bag. Uh, you can use some cheesecloth or you know just strain it but it's much easier to use a nut milk bag you can get them in uh, uh, health food stores or buy it online there are a couple of quid you have to prepare it slightly you have to soak your sunflower seed for about seven eight hours so before i go to bed i put in half a cup of sunflower seeds in some water uh, if i'm going to make the milk in the morning you need half a cup of sunflower seeds that you soak for seven to eight hours. You need one and a half cup of water, a pinch of salt, I use Himalayan crystal salt, a date for sweetness and half a tablespoon of coconut nectar and also half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. First you wash and drain the sunflower seeds and then just put them in your blender. If you got a bigger blender, you can just double up this recipe. But for a, uh, a Nutribullet, this is all it can take. One and a half cup of water. A pinch of salt. One date. Half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And half a tablespoon of coconut nectar. Just like that. And now we're going to blend it for a couple of minutes. And now you need your nut milk bag and just put everything in there. And then basically just squeeze all the milk out. Obviously make sure you really washed your hands before you do this. And then you just squeeze all the lovely healthy milk out with all the B vitamins and the zinc and vitamin E. It's all intact because we haven't heated it at all. And it tastes so gorgeous. I can't wait to drink this. You can of course use like just a piece of cloth for this, but it's so much easier to have it in a bag. And um, it's easy to clean as well. And here it is. Yummy. You get two cups of delicious and super nutritious milk, so cheers. Mm, that is super yummy. Um, thank you very much for popping by and please come back next week. I've got another video. I'm not sure what I'm doing yet, but um, and please subscribe and like if you like these sort of videos. Anyway, have a super week and I will see you next time. Bye.